Doesn't the Bible tell you Bible that when he comes, he comes into he will convict the world of sin? And is in eh? What does conviction mean? He causes you to be uncomfortable with your fallen nature and state. And that's what I'm saying. The Holy Spirit comes and teaches you and helps you understand that your sin is not greater than his sacrifice on the cross. It does not matter what you have done. It does not matter what happened unto you. But the grace of Jesus will always be stronger than the nature of your sin. That was the Holy Spirit. When men had written you off, the Holy Spirit came into your heart and he started speaking to you, whispering unto you, you still matter, you still matter, you are still somebody, you are still somebody, you are still, somebody. You are still, somebody. You are still a son and a daughter in this kingdom. Glory. You are about to commit suicide. The Holy Ghost reached out unto you. Because God is seated on his throne. And the Holy Ghost is doing the work on his behalf. Some of you, you had visitations and encounters of Jesus. Some of you, you are Muslims. And Jesus came into your dreams. Some of you are atheists. You are enemies of the gospel. But Jesus visited you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who made it possible for yeah, Jesus, Jesus to defend you? The Holy Spirit. You see? The Holy Spirit. That's why Jesus says that I'll not leave you as offerings. I'm going, but I'll never leave you as offerings. I'll send you another. Another. Huh? Another comforter, one of my same kind. You see what Jesus was meaning. He said, I'm going to send you a person who will do exactly what I've been doing. Because the disciples were worried. They were wondering, how are we going to survive in this plain world? Our master is going. Rabbi is going. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Some of you are starting to man up. And some of you are being prepared to become women mothers. And you are wondering the responsibilities. How do I live in this world? There are dreams that I want to see come to pass. I want to become somebody in this world. I want to become a father with, with a family. I want to be of importance to my ministry and community. Are you wondering? But the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, when He lays hold of somebody, He will breathe on that dead life and it will receive life. For the Bible says that if the same Spirit that rose Jesus from the dead dwells in you, He will also quicken your mortal bodies. He will give life to your dead life. He will breathe life to your dead destiny. He will he will reconstruct. He will redefine. He will give a meaning to a dead life. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Lipatata. I'm not afraid of my future. I'm not afraid of tomorrow. Because I know I'm not by myself. I got the Holy Ghost. Somebody say, I got the Holy Ghost. I have the Spirit of the Father. The same Spirit who met Jesus to overcome, to conquer the world. I have that same Spirit. I am more than a conqueror. I am a champion. I am a winner. I am on top. I am a head. I will be celebrated. I am a wonder to many. I am a fire. I cannot be consumed. I am a world shaker. I am changing my world in the name of Jesus. You see, you see, 
We've not had so many helpers. But the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost has been our helper. He has been our comforter. He has been our intercessor. Glory to God. You see, 